Right, what are you doing now, Michael? Uh, we're outside the cottage today, and we've, well, I don't know if you've seen Billy's video on the channel, the Pethricks. We're actually cobbling the whole area outside the cottage because up until now, there was a path that came from that gate that sort of snaked round over here. But if you wanted to get to the front door, you had to walk across the grass. So that's not great in the winter because you're dragging mud into the cottage uh, and it doesn't look very tidy and there's nowhere to sit outside here. So we're using up all these old cobbles, aren't we? We are. And uh, so far we've laid this area. It's on a bit of a slope, isn't it? Yes. It actually slopes very slightly away from the cottage so that any rain that falls on the cobbles will wash away. Dad's just done all of these. I laid those ones yesterday. So get on with it. Get on with it. Get on your knees. Well, it's the best bit. <laughs> Look at these, I got really filthy yesterday. Right. Right, well, Dad's just gonna get me some more sand. So you put the stones in, build them up on the right level of sand, and then sometimes you can use a hammer to knock them, which compacts the sand underneath. Uh, and then we fill in between with a mixture of sand and concrete, uh, sand and cement, which makes a concrete once it gets wet. So, I'm just waiting for some more sand. Lovely, thank you very much. No. A bit more here. There we go, I can always pull it out if it's too much. All right. Uh, I think I'll put a, that was a bit rectangly, that one. Let's put a square one in. And that one will do. We're actually leaving quite a big gap in between. But as you can see over there, it actually looks nice once it's all been filled. Obviously this needs probably a bit more here and there, but. Uh, as a first pass it looks great um, and obviously we haven't got that many cobbles so we are spacing them out a little bit trying to trying to um what's the word eco, eco, eco. we're trying to be economical with them yeah <laughs> so sand and cement is cheap so you can put loads of that in and it doesn't cost a lot whereas these if we run out of these we need to buy more and they're obviously very expensive so all right let's uh, if i lay them all down let's try and mix them up a bit you don't want too many next to each other, they look the same. That level looks a bit low on that one. I'm gonna put some more sand in there. There we go. Stop talking, are you f***ing lying? I'm talking, I'm explaining what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing worse than a shot of things going on and no, and no dialogue. Oh. That's a very boring video. Right, so these ones are in, but we need to check the level. I'm going from here to this line here. It's all right. These ones here that were going off this level, these ones are sat just a little bit too low, I think. I could have brought that low up just 10 mil, but it doesn't really matter. That one needs to come up a bit. Not much. So I'll take that one out. Chuck some more sand in there. Put that on. Where's the hammer? Nice sat on it. Yeah, I'm sat on it. There you go. Oh, it's all right. We'll put them back. Perfect. There's no point in trying to trying to get them all perfect. You'll go mad, I think. Yeah, you should. It's funny. You put a small one in, and you think, oh, the, it's not going to line up. But then you find a bigger one later on, and it all just evens itself out. We had the same problem with the tiles in there, didn't we? Yeah. We were all trying to lay them with spacers to make them look perfect, and in the end. They were all going wonky. But when Sean did them all just by eye, yeah. they were, see that end of the room's perfect. It's that end of the room, but you can see yeah. the lines go a bit like that, but it all adds character. It's Billy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Billy. Happy birthday and to I'm you. Working. <laughs> You've got me working on my birthday. 33 <laughs> I am. Wow. Getting You've old. got yourself working. You started this project. I'll style it for you. Yep. Very kind. Is everyone having a little break? Wait for a cup of tea. What are you doing, Sadie? I'm tea lady. I'm on tea duty. Making us a nice cup of tea? Yeah. Well, um, I'll have mine with milk and no sugar, please. All right. But don't give me one of them Barry's tea. <laughs> you might want it what back. What do you want? In that little, uh, in the little um, brass pot, yeah. there's a couple of um, Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend tea bags. Oh, right. Or, or if, if, if it's run out, I'll have a, a smoky Earl Grey, please. All right. Thank you very much. Are you the Queen of Sheba? Yeah, and I'll have a bacon sandwich as well, please. <laughs> <laughs> How was your cup of tea? It's lovely, thank you very much. Let me taste it. You went for the old grey? Yeah. Smoky old grey. It's quite nice. It just tastes a bit like an ashtray, though. But... <laughs> it's 
an acquired taste. It's because they put, um, is it laps, lap songs, lap song too strong or something? Smoked tea. Mm. Can't beat berries, the Irish berry. Yeah. Builder's tea. I was worried he might want it back though. <laughs> This is Barry's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Does you know you got it? <laughs> yeah, who's Barry? Yeah, who is Barry? Who the f is Barry? <laughs> <laughs> That's Alice, isn't it? That's yeah. the sun. Right, so I'm just going to sit down for a minute, drink some tea, and I'm going to tell you about today's video sponsor. Well, we all do a lot of online shopping these days. Times are changing, and me especially, because I live in the middle of nowhere, I have to buy a lot of things online. But have you ever got to the checkout of your online purchase and seen a little section that says apply coupon or discount code? Well, most of the time I don't have the discount code or I don't know where to find it, so I don't save any money. But with this amazing browser extension called Coupert, you can save money automatically without having to put any effort in. Now this is completely free, doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is download it and sign up. Um, I'm gonna use it on Chrome but you can get it on Safari, Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, all of those. I've actually already added it. So let's go to uh, a website, for example, Levi. I've got a nice hoodie here that's 75 euros. I've also added a nice pair of boots. You can see it's come to 210 euros. Let's see if Cooper can save us some money. So if you go up to here, let's click on Cooper. So let's go to test codes. So, Coupert is automatically testing all available coupon codes for you. Uh, and this can just take a few minutes sometimes. Sometimes it's really fast. Now, the great thing about Cooper is it doesn't just offer you discount codes. It doesn't just find them for you. What it's going to do is every time you purchase something, it's going to add all of the cash back to your Cooper account. Then what you can do is you can actually, at the end, once you've built up some cash back, you can withdraw it into your PayPal account. Now, if you see here, it's told me that I've got 2.1 to 2.8% cash back. Uh, cash back's added to your account within 24 to 72 hours. So then you can withdraw it into your PayPal account. And it's also saved me 16 euros and 40 centimes, which is amazing. And there we go. So my total before, 210 euros 99 centimes. It's now 194 uh, euros and 59 centimes. So there we go, as simple as that. Just go to payment, pay, you get your cash back, and you get your discount. So I just want to say thank you to Cooper for sponsoring this video. And I actually showed this to my brother Billy earlier, and he's already downloaded it. So I'm sure the rest of my family will. We're going to go back outside now and do some more work. Oh, he's filming as well, look. <laughs> Billy Spielberg. <laughs> Billy's getting his content in, haven't you? Get your content, Bill. No, I'm just, I need to say something for my video. Right. Go on, you can film this, it's behind, yeah. behind the scenes. Well, I did that intro, didn't I? That funky intro you put on Instagram. Yeah. And it is to cut, just to you going, something like, stop playing that nonsense, get back to work, or something like that. Can I, can I, can you beat, can it be something that you can beep out? It's quite of fun. Of course, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit funny. Beep it out so it's nice and clean, but. Right, turn that <laughs> off and let's go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> You're about a year old now, aren't you, Bertie? It's a skinny little thing, isn't he? Look at him. Yeah, he doesn't stop running around and playing. No, he eats a lot, but I think he's always going to be a small dog. He's fully grown now. Yeah. You can see the doorstep's been taken out. It's actually made up of four giant granite blocks. We're not going to put all the stones back in. We're not going to put mm. all four. So this level is now a lot higher than the original step. Whereas the first, the first step before was sunk right into the ground anyway, yeah. wasn't yeah, it? The bottom step was level with the ground. Yeah, so we don't need the bottom step anymore. No, so we'll put, the, these. we'll put the two big steps back in. Um, but they actually made up two stones. There's just like a join in the middle. So we'll put the two, the biggest step back in, and then we'll have the two other small ones. Unless we actually bed the other step in flush, then we can save all of that amount of cobbles. Could do, yeah. We could do, and then cobble up to it. That's nice. Dad uses that quite. You use that quite a lot, don't you, Dad? It's a. It's an old. Um, trowel that I picked up at um, like a V Grenier, which is like a boot fair, a car boot sale. And it's, um, I picked it up because it had a nice copper handle. It's got something in it that rattles. I don't know what it is, probably a bit of metal, but it must be old. Yeah, yeah. You never, you, you wouldn't see one nowadays with a copper handle like that. It's probably soldered at the end, isn't it? Soldered with um, brass. Lovely, antique, probably.
see that. Right, so this is the mixture that Dad's just mixed up. It's a mixture of sand and cement. What's the uh, ratio? Four and one, four to one. So, four, what, four sand to one cement? Yeah. yeah. And you put water in it as well. Yeah. So, we'll just shovel it into the uh, joints. It's basically between the cobbles. And then we just sort of brush it in. And once it's all brushed in like that, we'll hose it down and that'll add some more water to the mix, which will help it set. Did you think you'd be doing this on your birthday, did you, Bill? I did. <laughs> I knew it was coming. On well, over my birthday, what are we doing? We're going on a little trip, aren't we? Here we are. Lucky you. But you're going as well. <laughs> well, in the space of four days we've got Billy's birthday, my birthday, no in the space of a week we've got Billy's birthday, Anna's birthday from Bordeaux Life, my birthday and my grandmother's birthday all and in the space of a week so yep. we're all joining up for a little birthday jolly. Are we? Yeah it's a surprise. It's a surprise. All will be revealed at a later date. So right now what Billy's doing is just hosing uh, down the stones, um, which is going to help wash what we've just put in all into place. Uh, and also it smooths off the surface of the concrete as well. So, um, it's all really nice. Yeah, it's all going to wash out, don't worry. We'll put, we'll put more in where it needs it. Are you going to help me? Watch out, Ernest, you're going to get wet. Daddy, don't walk on them. Stay off of it for a minute. Daddy, I'll help you. You've got all help in a minute, Ernest. You wait a minute. Let it dry, then we'll do it again. Yeah. There's a pile over there, you didn't put anything. There's a pile there. Yeah. It's going to brush this way. It's a bit sloppy now. Yeah, right. Just wash them off a bit. And then we'll do it again. Ernest wants to have a go. Right, so it's all done. Well, we've done up until just past the door. Um, so there's probably about two more days work left in it. This bit was done yesterday, so it, it can be walked on, but that bit obviously is gonna be left until tomorrow before we can go on that. Tomorrow, we're gonna, we're gonna put the doorstep back. Um, so there's we've got these four giant pieces of granite that need to be bedded back in um, so that we can actually get in and out of the cottage. Don't walk on the stones, Ernest. Yeah, and then it's done, so. Job well done.